Hey guys, it's SwordJ14, and welcome back for more Earthbound. In the last part, we got through the uh, Scaraba Temple, and we lost Boo! <laughs> so sad, but now let's explore Dungeon Man. Keep this board in mind. Brick Road. Even though you can't get up there now, you might be able to later. Brick Road. Your first goal is to reach the four ropes. Brick Roll. Brick Road. There's an item up here. You're going to want to get it. Place an item at the dead end. You're free to take it whenever you want. Brick Road. I believe there's a... Uh, I have no idea what it is, but it lets you recover 80 HP, so... Yeah. It's an okay item. What's this one? Once the dungeon is built, monsters always start moving in. Brick Road. Oh, you guys gotta see something. This one's kind of funny. Here's another uh, good night bench. You have a long way to go. Getting some rest and relaxation may save you. Brick Road. This is funny. While you explore the dungeon, why don't you make a pit stop? Brick Road. I wonder why I'm in this restroom right here. Just who am I? What is life all about? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you nervous? I'm not dangerous. Don't worry. Uh, that gives me a lot of reason to worry. Wow, that guy's a genius. There's a useful item at it then end after you make a quite a long walk. Cup of Life Noodles. Paula takes it. Yes, a Cup of Life Noodles. We have like three of those. And Paula's running out of room in her ear inventory. Inventory. You're running out of room in her inventory! Oh, we can get rid of the double burger. Just use it. And the stag beetle. We're not going to use that. So we'll just drop it. Yeah, Mr. Saturn's probably going to be angry at us, but who cares? They're just little Mr. Saturns. So yeah, they're not... They're they're cool, but... Yeah. Ness open present. Ness and his friends got $5. Items that are easy to get are usually disappointing. Brick Road. I believe there's an item... I am not sure... Oh, here's an item. Don't be a slacker. If you work hard, you'll get good stuff. Brick Road. I couldn't agree more with the opinion on the left board. Brick Road. Super Plush Bear! Paula takes it. The Super Plush Bear is just an upgraded version of the Teddy Bear that we got quite a while ago. All the way back in Tucson. And these are just enemies we saw in the mall and in, uh, winter. So, they're really easy. And this idiot is attacking the Plush Bear. Nice. Yeah, you're gonna see enemies in, uh, Dungeon Man, so... Just watch out. Hey, what's this? A snake! We are not going to use that. Whoop. And I have yet to use the hand aid. Drop. So, let's continue onward. And more enemies! Oh! Sneak attack like three of them! Nice. Cup of coffee. And we sneak attack that one. Let's get rid of the cup of coffee. I need to get rid of some stuff in my inventory. Yeah, you're not going to be taking too much damage here, so... I built a bulletin board without a message. Frick road. The grass is always greener on the other rope. I wonder why that is. Frick road. Now, taking three of these ropes will lead you to a dead end. It's this one that you want to take. Alright. Now, let's continue onward. What's this? This is the second floor of my body. Brick Road. He says the most obvious stuff. What is a dungeon? That is my eternal question. Brick Road. Nice. Ooh, what's this? Isn't the, er, inside the dungeon, flash photography is prohibited. Brick Road. Yes! That's good. That means we won't see any, or we won't hear anything from, uh, what's his face? Ooh, a present. Oh, no. Ugh. Wow, you do use freeze alpha and it didn't work on the super plus there. Alright, the lesser mook. It's kind of dangerous. It has psychic power. And he did it on the plush bear again. And, uh... Yeah. 
he has uh, PSI Freeze Alpha, so that can get kind of annoying. Ten dollars. I pulled out a, a bulletin board, but it's probably unnecessary. Frick road. That's a hole down below. You don't have to worry about this for now. Frick road. I have a feeling that this might take an entire part just to get through. Oh, jeez. This dungeon gets pretty ridiculous. What? What? Ugh. Oh, freeze beta, that's not good. And he attacks the bear, like a moron. Attacks the bear, like a moron. All attacks, Jeff attacks. Yeah! Freeze beta! These idiots are... Hypnosis didn't work on the bear. These idiots are attacking the bear, literally. What is wrong with them? Freeze alpha. Literally, all of their attacks have been on the bear. I mean, literally. I think the lesser mook... Uh, don't quote me on this, but I think that the lesser mook is not included in the Nintendo Power Guide. And I'm not sure if I said this either, but you have, have you heard the song we've been listening to? It's actually a remix to a famous Beatles song. You were standing right around my belly button. Rick Rowe. Yeah, I'm not sure what the Beatles, what the song is, but I'm, that's all I know is that it's a remix to it. You can just bash their heads in, because they're just going to attack the teddy bears. Or, I mean, the teddy bear. Hypnosis. Didn't work. Freeze beta. Didn't work. See, what morons. Boom! Boom! There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Oh! That time he attacks Jeff. Yay! Wow, the one time he attacks Jeff. There's an item at a dead end, but I have been known to be wrong occasionally. Sorry. Break road. Okay. The music is one of my greatest accomplishments. Break road. Yeah, more breaking of the fourth wall. I sm it smells like flowers here. You, if you can't smell it, your nose must be stuffy. Brick Road. That's actually a hint for a magic truffle. And magic truffles are, like, wonderful items. Another lesser mook. Ah. A pizza inside. Paula takes it. We love pizza. Oh, that's a sudden guts pill. We don't want that. Well, I don't want that. There are lots of monsters up there, but don't stress out. Brick Road. I think there's something, yep, something over here. PSI Caramel. Nice. We need something like, like that. This is the third floor of my body. Brick Road. And then it gives a description on the enemies. We're just gonna skip that. So, we're just gonna keep going. A wet towel. We do not want that. And nice. Paula's inventory is now full. So let's just continue onward. Good job! You finally made it! There's a board upstairs that says that. Brick Road. <laughs> uh, that's the one. That face is mine. Feel free to talk to it. Brick Road. Welcome! And he fully heals us. Long time no see. Mr. Jeff, we met in Winters a long time ago. I'm Brick Road. Dr. Ananuts finally made me into a dungeon man. If you want, I'll come with you guys for a while. The return hole is over there. Jump in that hole, and then walk out. Right here is where we need to go. Return hole, jump with all your courage. Brick Road. But what's this hole over here that's blocked? Goodbye, exit. Someday, you should enter with courage. Brick Road. No! Ugh. Not enemies. Well, at least they're... Probably won't be too bad. Ha! <laughs> They're liking each other out. That's awesome. That's just that's just too good. They're liking each other out. That's awesome. I'm not even gonna make a joke about that, because I wanna say I don't wanna get flagged or anything like that. A fresh egg. We do not want that. So let's get rid of it. See if I can make it? Yes! Awesome. Present right here. 
IQ capsule. We will give that to Jeff. Because he needs the IQ more than any of us. Alright, IQ went up by one. There we go. Now let's head out. Burn, 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 burn. The music gets really annoying in there. Alright, now Dungeon Man follows us. And believe it or not, if I encounter an enemy, I'll tell ya. Oh, here we go. Check this out. Marauder Octobot and its cohorts. Let's use Psychic... Let's use Rockin' Fire. And believe it or not, Dungeon Man will actually help us out in battle. So it's pretty nice. Ouch. There you go. Attack the plush bear like an idiot. There you go. Oh! Oh, he attacked the bear. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, there we go. Rockin' Beta! Didn't work. Uh, doesn't work on those UFOs. Dungeon Man tried to attack. Oh, the teddy bear's gone. How could it dodge? <laughs> that UFO can't move. Can't move around. Disrupting these senses didn't work on Jeff. Yay! Smash! I love smashes. Paul's level 45. So let's keep on going. Eh, I don't want to fight that. Let's go down again, and someone has Sunstroke. Paula, why do you have Sunstroke? Wimp! Grr! Oh no! I am getting caught in the palm trees! Mmm, I cannot move. Well, if I cannot move, it is okay. Ness, it makes me sad, but I must say goodbye here at my eternal resting place. What he means by that, I'm not exactly sure. So let's look around, since we can't go back. A scary place called Deep Darkness is on the other side of the river. The monsters are very scary, or strong, and you could lose your health just by wandering around in the swamp. Do you want to cross the river, even though you know it's a stupid idea? Stupid? Do you know who you're talking to? Yes. The swamp is bottomless. Even if you're swimming, you'll be dragged in. It's a different story if you have a submarine. Huh. A submarine? Let's see what Dungeon Man has to say. A submarine? I believe that I have one in my old vehicle collection. Please enter. Alright. We are back in Dungeon Man. But unfortunately, we're not going to have time to do it. So, in light of all that, we're going to have to cut the video here. So, if you like my videos, then click that big white button up there that says subscribe, view, rate, and comment. And make sure you submit ideas for the next LP. Later, guys! Whoop! What am I doing? Fail!